1979 Pontiac Trans Am GM. It's got everything you need, and here it is, 40 years old. I don't have an exact answer, and I don't know if anyone does, of how it got to the point of where it is now. I think all of the American cars, all the way across the board, have been priced skyrocketed high, uh, way more than they should, and I think that in a time where you need to make money, that's not the time you raise your prices. I, I think the unions um, have really got to step back People that are getting the kind of money they're doing for piecework, uh, the kind of benefits that they're getting, uh, what are you paying, $1,600 per unit on a car now just to cover those things? And I think if they could break that down, make a competitive workplace with competitive pay on the cars, uh, there's no reason why those companies wouldn't flourish again. I had a 1986 Chevrolet C10 pickup that I bought new off the lot, 1986. I bought it for $10,000. I drove it. I had 1.8 million miles on that truck, my friend. 1.8 million miles. It's definitely going to be in the end of the year, but I see a positive coming out of this. That's the whole thing. I don't think a lot of people do, but I do. They're going to be more lean, better run, more efficient company in the long run. And I think Chrysler, too. It's not dying out. It's evolving. And I hope it keeps going. So when you see something like that roll by, everybody stops to look. But isn't that neat? I wish I had one like that.